Hello, my name is Peter Hankovic with the Ohio Global Solutions and Support Services team. This video is about the IPDECT R4 IPBS firmware update via the web interface. In this video, we are going to go through the steps recommended to update the IPBS R4 firmware via the web interface. We will see how to identify the firmware running on the IPBS infrastructure what to consider when downloading the firmware package from the supportedavaya.com site. It is also recommended to review the firmware package related release notes that may have special upgrade or downgrade instructions. Then back up the IPDEC configuration, update the IPBS firmware and then the boot code. As a first step we are connecting to the web interface of our master IPBS. Select the system administration and login as the admin account. On the general information tab we are provided with the version line which details the current IPBS firmware version of 7.1.4 then the IPBS boot code 7.1.4 and finally the hardware type that reads as IPBS1-Y4-1B. There are two major types of IPDEC base stations IPBS1 and IPBS2 in this particular case, our IPBS is an IPBS1, Y4 type, revision 1B. The IPBS also has an integrated RFP or radio fix part that is running the software version of 3.2.10 currently. The RFP software is actually integrated into the IPBS firmware package, so the IPBS firmware update may update the RFP version also. In case you are running an infrastructure of IPDEC system, you may click on the device overview menu that will give you a summary of all your connected IPBSs and their firmware version, boot code version and hardware type. Next step is to download the proper firmware package from support.avaya.com. Screen capture here is showing that there are different firmware packages released for the IPBS1 and IPBS2 hardware. You need to download the package that is applicable to your IPBS hardware. In my case I choose the IPBS1 version 7.2.22 which is the most current package. Once you download the zip package, extract it and open the PDF document that is the release notes for the firmware. The release notes will have a package contents and compatibility information, would detail the new features if any special considerations, if any, and resolve the issues or bug fixes. Next step is to perform a backup of the IPBS configuration which may be used to restore the configuration in case there are problems during the firmware update. For that click on the backup menu and then the download link. and save the configuration text file to your PC. You can open the backup file and review the contents. It will also give you the firmware details of the IPBS at the time of the backup was performed. Final steps are the actual firmware update. Select the update link and then the firmware tab. To give you a summary of the current state of health of the boot code and the firmware, would also give you a warning not to interrupt the upload. Browse for the firmware package, which has the firmware name in it, and then select the upload button. The upload may take a few minutes. I will pause the video. Once the firmware update completed, we will be provided with the choice to do an immediate reset or an idle reset. The idle reset may be performed on a system that has traffic. Reset will be executed once there are no active calls. The immediate reset will clear all calls and reset the IPBS. I will select the immediate reset. Wait for 2 minutes for the IPBS to come back online. 
once the IPVS is back online you can click on the general information and then you would see that the IPBS firmware was updated to the 7.2.22 but the boot code still remained on 7.1.4 now it's time to update the boot code click on the update link again and then the boot link browse for the boot code file select the file that has the boot name in it and then upload the upload may take one minute once the update completed you can do an immediate reset again and wait for two minutes for the IPBS to come back online once the IPBS is back up you can click back on the general information tab and observe that the boot code was updated as well with this the firmware update completed in case you're running an infrastructure of IPBS's you would need to update all IPBS thank you for your time today we welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at hawaii.com or on twitter at hawaii mentor for more details or related information please visit support.hawaii.com thank you for choosing Avaya.